The shading field is used to dynamically evaluate a shader uh, for each frame of a particle's life. Here I've got a, a piece of head geometry. that's emitting these particles. And the particles are black because there's no um, shading parameters on them. Uh, the particles are being emitted from a sampler emitter and as part of the sampler emitter what it can do is write out the position, normal, U and V values and tangent U and V of the point on the surface where the particle was emitted from and write those values out to the particle shape itself. So with those pieces of information you can basically evaluate any shading network um, and do all of the calculations using my shading renderer. So what I'll do is uh, create a shading field. And inside the shading field, it's got these shading samplers. And you can have multiple ones in there. And what I'm going to do is take this blend surface shader that, that's using these texture maps and evaluate it and write its output to RGBPP on my particles. I make sure to always turn on auto add attributes that way if RGBPP didn't already exist on my particle object it would have been automatically added for me. So now you can see that the particles have been emitted with some shading on them. Now to go through a few of the attributes on here um, there's this advanced input mapping tab and that controls uh, what parameters on the particle you're going to look up to send information to the shader with. So when I'm evaluating the shader I need to send it a position, a uh, normal, a UV coordinate, and a tangent UNV. And that basically if you're doing any um, 2D texture mapping inside of your shader you need UV coordinates. If you're doing any 3D texture lookups you need positions. And if you're doing any lighting calculations you need normals and tangents. Um, so all of these information was already initialized on my particles from the sampler emitter. I can also create multiple shading fields and, uh, and sample multiple shaders and write their results to any attribute that I want. So what's cool about the, the shading field is it's dynamic. So as I play through the animation, I can adjust the lighting on the particles by just adjusting and rotating my lights. If I wanted to, I could add, um, let's say, a spotlight to my scene. And let's say I want to light up the back of his head. Well, now I'm lighting up the back of the head with the spotlight. So really what we're doing is treating, the, treating those particles as pixels um, and rendering them interactively inside of Maya as, uh, as the frames advance. Uh, one last feature is you can turn on enable shadows such that if, if this light had depth map shadows turned on, it would actually do self-shadowing on the particles. Um, interactively inside of Maya. So that, that's a pretty neat feature. Um, the real power of the shading field though is, is not to have static particles but it's to have moving particles uh, because as particles move you know they, their lighting needs to change and, and so on. So So you can see as these particles are moving, their lighting values are changing. Some of them are going into different, um, different stages of color. If you're able to, uh, to do the math, basically what you might want to do is, is blend the velocity into the normal of the, uh, of the particles so that the lighting actually changes as based on the velocity of the particle. Um, to do that, you, you do something like uh, normal PP equals uh, velocity let's just take 90% uh, of what the normal currently is and normalize that and then add in 5% of the velocity. And 
And then, of course, we have to normalize that as well. So that's kind of how you go about disintegrating your character and sucking them up into a vortex, which is actually how a lot of these tools were originally founded, was for some work on a movie called The One. Um, but that simple expression gets you from your original character on frame one to in motion, just becoming a particle swarm that still has the feeling of the character as if it took that whole texture with them and still obeys uh, the lighting in your scene.